Okay, so you're about to die. Look, I'm sorry. I really can't do anything about that, and I would appreciate it if you stopped hounding me about calling 911. I mean, I get it. Life-saving help is kind of a big deal to you. But I need to tell somebody about Insight Video Gaming, the short-lived concept that attempted to merge the worst of Electronic Gaming Monthly in Maxim Magazine. The result is about as ugly as that bloody wound you've got there. Launched in December of 1999, Insight was for teenage boys who were both curious about the next Bond game and in serious need of Denise Richards' pictures to masturbate to. Forget talking about the most important video game developers at the time, this was a magazine interested in interviewing the chick from VIP that wasn't Pamela Anderson. Are you curious to know more about Dead or Alive 2? Then don't bother reading this pictorial spread between the busty babes of Son of the Beach. Month after month, Insight would ask stupid questions to models, wrestlers, and comedians with only a passing interest in video games. Skipping the usual reviews and previews, Insight had a monthly feature that had musicians, athletes, and TV hosts squaring off against each other in various video games. While I'm sure watching members of Blink-182, Bush, 311, and Filter play Test Drive 6 was a blast in person, it doesn't translate well to paper. There's a reason no other magazine was publishing this type of article, and it was because of stupid comments like, I'm driving like a drunk driver, and it's another instance of a man trying to keep me down. Ugh. Much like you, Insight didn't stick around for very long. While mixing boobs and video games seems like an obvious choice, the truth is that teenage boys had plenty of better options for both video game magazines and spank material. Hey, have you even been listening to me? Christ, you're already dead. I need to say this whole thing again to somebody else. Don't leave now! We're going to be talking about different magazines every single day between now and Christmas. That's 29 episodes looking back at classic game magazines. So don't forget to subscribe and check out those other videos. See you tomorrow!